This story since just before our newscast at midday. It happened this morning on Aldine Mail Route in Gloger within a short walk of MacArthur High School where Torres attended. Channel 2's Jake Reiner is live outside the school with how the teen's family and classmates are doing. Jake, we have to imagine this is so difficult for them. Such a somber mood on campus here, Sarah, as school just let out within the last hour or so. Family members tell us that Mr. Torres lived across the street from the school and would walk across to get to class every single day. Moments ago when school let out, classmates of Jose Torres were already gathering money to help his family with expenses. Here's what happened early this morning. Imagine it's pitch black and cars are zooming by before school. What can I say? Nobody saw this coming. Including the 17-year-old Torres, who Harris County deputies say was in the turn lane with no crosswalk when someone making a left-hand turn didn't see the high school senior and ran him over. Noemi Ibarra is Torres' cousin. Yeah, I just got up this morning, you know, do your daily routine, and then you get that call, <laughs> and you hope that maybe it's not him, but it was him. <laughs> Investigators say the woman driving the green pickup truck was dropping off her child this morning at the high school. Deputies also say she was going 35 in a 20 mile per hour school zone. We spoke with the friend of Torres's mother who described the moment she found out. She was Tora. I mean, she could barely stand up. He loved playing soccer. That's something he just really, he knew that he was going to do. We just found out before this live shot, one of Torres' good friends said that they're going to be holding a candlelight vigil at the school around 7 o'clock tonight. Reporting live, I'm Jake Reiner, KPRC Channel 2 News.